afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting, another wondrous propaganda cast with me, host Imperial Game. We're off here to one versus one on fame, and we'll approach which I'll be watching Chukunuko here fighting for the Soviet Union for the glory of the Soviet peoples, taking on the role here of the Second Guard Tank Corps going up against Chuck Norris fighting for Germany for the Reich, holding the line here under command of the 5th SS Panzer Division Viking. Still playing as and noting the here he's actually not going straight for the field point on the connecting point for it, so this is a bit of an odd sort of initial move there. Same at the same time from Chukunuku. Neither player seems awfully interested in the field point, at least he's getting a point that's actually connected to his base. We got Chuck Norris here charging here with ahead with his supply half track. And immediately having commander fire, I would imagine. Going there for the fuel pot, false coast following up there for Chuck Norris. Pushing it around there with the supply half track. Taking some shots there. Panda doing a bit of reconnaissance to figure out if there's a chance to put him out going for an early supply. I like supply weapon, but the special rifle command. Blah. And apparently can't drive, crashing the entire truck backwards into a nearby building. Points there being secured. In some again, we're still seeing no emphasis from Chukunuku and actually going towards a few point, which is rather than surprising, but the, oh, well, surprising, not unsurprising, all the way around. Sean Pine is engaging the conscripts, conscripts falling back there. And in the end, he ends up retreating, realizing he can't re engage the Sean in a good position and without losing a lot of men. At which point, there's no point in feeding the Sean Pioneer's experience and wasting manpower steps or pulling back, sort of reorganized, which is good. We also now seeing a more Focus there for towards the north while Chuck Norris is heading towards the south, also having secured the fuel point there. Commands by way we are seeing immediate choice here off. Advanced warfare for Chuck Norris, we see breakthrough Luftwaffe and scavenge. So the question is what he will be going for there. In the longer run. But so far not of engagement, we basically had a small scuffle down there and some trucks being shot at before crashing into a building leaving a very large truck shaped mark. And apparently some of the interior recently still standing, impressively enough. There we go, most of the map is now falling into either side, although we do note some points right here next to Chuck Norris's base is actually unsurprising. Oh. Well, surprisingly guarded. Right. Not sure why I keep wanting to say unsurprisingly. I mean, that's really a surprise as well. So far, there's not anything that's been deeply unsurprising or anything. But Storm Party's moving forward. Fox covering. Though a bit dangerous there. Storm Party's being able to bother to use the terrain to get closer. Good job there by Chuck Norris. That's everything going to make things a hassle for the conscripts. Do do see a Molotov. And there we go. Immediately bursting through the mental flames. About three of them. That was quite the Molotov rather that definitely gave Chukunuk a bit something back there. Force shifting from the north. Molotov right here on the Volkskanadira would do him good. A quick frangible of Fury Doom. Meanwhile, then we can take focus down here, but two Volkskanadira squads, not good, not good. For the Russians, this for the Germans, that's pretty good. And there we go, Molotov. Volkskanadira's blessing to Flemish, they're going up, the quick cut off. No, we do see Sturm Pioneer having arrived there, and also a Battle Group headquarters around the Chick Noise. Sturm Pioneer's moving up the ditch here. Engaging here with two country sports at a reasonable range, which should give the advantage to the country which gives it the larger numbered. So things are about to get a bit ugly at the front line for Chuck Norris. His men are already getting a bit overwhelmed and a bit over engaged. We also got the comedy sneak about here. Good job there. And we're oh, we do see a grenade up there, and a steel hunk on Nati immediately robs the life of half a squad there. Leaving them rolling in pain, if rolling at all. And actually sending back the steel pioneers to fight heavily wounded at the same time, comedy being engaged by a heavy machine gun, the MG34. So Chuck Norris has gone for the Luftwaffe. Ground Forces Commander. Since he's got the MG34. MG34. Quickly doubling back into the house, that sort of slow up any. A Russian advance there with a car hit case. I'm peeking out some windows, they're apparently not all in the right direction. 
So, took a look at taking advantage to push forward, so at the same time a more solid counter-attack up north there. He's going to put a bit of pressure there on Chukunuka's forces were a bit spread out. Some of them here were back reinforcing. Also noting Field Infirmary was up. And they got quick assault up here versus the false were who had made the slight mistake of actually moving outside. And Chukunuka there struck with decisive speed. And though a bit too slow here, and the false guys were able to shield handgun out to once more leave a lot of Russians bleeding in the middle of the road. So we do see a quick follow-up with the Molotov. Forcing the false gunners to gather them in the MG-34. Moving up, there's two MG-34s up here for Chuck Norris. Going for the fuel point here at the same time, an assault here for the car point and the fuel point. So things are getting a bit bolder now. I imagine Mr. Chuck Norris might be feeling a bit more confident now that he's gotten some MG-34s out to slow down the advance of the Bolsheviks. Swap port them company out, we're using a flamethrower on the way, and there we go. MD34 setting up, can he move up there with the Molotov fast enough to actually clear off the MD34? They make that a losing proposition there. And there you go, the fascists have been caught, but ultimately, apparently, have been equipped with asbestos, since they take very little damage, forcing back the conscripts there. That's quite impressive. Yeah, I've all my lucky asbestos underwear today. Hopefully, science will not later prove anything ill about asbestos. But there goes Doom Punch Punch, MD34 setting up here, Fox is flanking about with a Panzer Shrek. Enemy forces capturing supply sector. And the same time for the Force moving in here. While Chuck Norris is scrambling to reconnect the fuel there, get that back and out of the hands of those pesky Russians. Supply lines have been cut. Certainly feeling a bit on offense, but there we go, a nice flank here from Mr. Chukunuk, of course, realizing where the MD34 we pulled out. And pointed at, he took the longer route then, got behind it. Good job, the good job of the Temple Falcons about being inside the building. Another MG-34 with jump on this moving as well. Counter attack again. Schnell! Get the MG-34! No, 34 up. The other way around doesn't really work. There goes Sean Pines flanking in there, got need to take up this Oh no, they're closing in directly. A bit risky, but seems might be working here, might be working here. At the same time, the MG-34 was a bit too slow set up, and the conscripts are flanking that. Basically, MD34 setting up right into the fuel point. Chuck Norris striking back greatly. We deliver some serious blows there to Chukunuku, who's now beginning to equip troops with submachine guns with the PPH 41. Freezing his firepower we're all quite a bit there. Stone Pioneers versus Larger Force now caught in gates up close to the PPH 41. They are all of a sudden heavily outgunned there and close up. Even with their Sturmgewehrs. And there you go, this results in the rapid for Chuck Norris. Now the truck has arrived there. Point being changed, but again, coming in front of the MG-34 there. Easily able to spot anything around in a small radius. Plenty of manpower there, could consider either taking up or going for, say, an MG-34 or a mortar. Either could work well. A mortar in particular for dealing with those pesky machine and gewehren. I'm missing a mechanized regiment going up here for Chuck Norris. Flat half tax or Pumas could be on the order of the day here. And turning up here, Chuck Norris getting a bit bold, a bit bold. With his machine and gear. And again, turning up here to sort of try and hold back the fuel point. He wants to, of course, starve his opponent as much as fuel as possible, of course, get as much as possible as well. Countries moving up there. Half equipped with submachine guns, the half revived. Looks like it work out nice to sort of combo then. There you go. Country goes pinned down. Fox goes closing. There you go, man. To escape before it's too late. Would have gotten actually. And there you go. Head on assault here. Probably slightly unintentionally. Hadn't expected him to be to up the close, I imagine. Results in his men encountering a bit of a grisly fate point. Blank. And you got Maxim on the way here for him. Country goes pulled away. Combat and pulled away. Bit of an aggressive work extension here from Chuck Norris. He's probably feeling confident due to all the MD 34s he has actually sort of holding up things. But at the same time, they will in several cases be a bit isolated, which will give Chukunuka a chance to overwhelm them, maybe even take them for himself. So he has to be a bit careful, he doesn't get a bit too confident already. MG squad awaiting orders. Taking up position in the building, a quick Molotov 
could make things very unpleasant inside there for the Fox kind of ears. Okay, there you go, Maxim arriving. Chuck knows they're still sort of controlling the map, but dominating again using them to to sort of make any approach by Chicken look much painful, but over here to Chuck Norris. For the MDs, two Fox has two Storm Pioneers. No train going off resources, getting plenty of munitions by the way. Plenty, plenty. And there you go, Puma, Shirap, Hansi, B, Ragnar, right here. Storm Pioneers close to getting wiped out here. Ghost Gold on the weekend, G34, holding up the advance here through the road. At least making any direct approach here a bit more unpleasant, though we do see a punch squad here could prove to the flank. And oh dear, mine went off there, bursting the flame for a tank up the shoe mean and did its job. That man certainly won't be needing shoes after that. That's for sure. Puma almost ready. Puma ready to deploy. Puma ready to deploy. There we go. Schwerer punches P-Wagen on the move. Ooh, slightly wrong position there, Cosmic charging there with some machine guns. Ready to unleash a lot of bullets up close. The P H quarter on a rather solid time machine in in fact also one that was used a lot by the Germans. In fact they captured several copies of them. Or versions of several items or whatever. And managed actually to convert a lot of them to actually use German munitions. A little fun fact there. In the end, the Russians actually tried to make an even simpler one that was a little bit more similar to the MP40, the PPS43. They were, that, they were quite keen in large enough numbers to be largely equipped, so PPS41 is largely still was. Mind you, the one they used in Company 2 is the one with the drum magazine. They were actually working to replace it with one with a stick magazine, so the drum magazine had a few technical issues. So they were working on replacing it with something less drum-like. Well there you go, Contact's moving up, their troops up here in a bit of a sticky situation. MD-34 continues to sort of hold down large amounts of the terrain, and with the large of the infantry force here, that Chukunuka has, I mean, it's, they're going to do quite well in sort of holding him down. He's going to need some kind of vehicle or some method of laying down smoke, for example, to sort of clear them out. Maxim and Fielgen here firing, the Storm Pioneer is doing the best as well. Bet 22, Chukunuka still being heavily contained at the moment. Now again, considering what Command is gone for, he might just wait out a bit longer, he could then end up calling in T-3045. So we see a Stuka Sufus on the way, for Chuck Norris heading into some artillery. Comet pushed away there, MD-34 firing away. We're still struggling here, the force comes in so far again, reasonably well locked down here by all the MD-34 set Chuck Norris is currently in possession of. Though, enough, there's been no sign of incendiary armor-piercing rounds. Which one might have expected to see on the field. That's quite a bit of mud. Being spewed up there by the armored car. You're seeing what is this? Another Maxim there running for Chukunuka. He's really going for the infantry heavy approach so far. And there we go! Coming under intense fire, quickly falling out of the building. Since we realize he won't be able to do anything there at the same time, assault going up in there. We go the infantry fire explodes. But a nice mine there on the flank by the fence. Blows up some of the attackers. But we still see a Chuck Norris holding on. In fact, he could lose up the NG 34 here. He might have made a slight mistake here. Already the top machine gun are too close. They could tear through it, but no, no, looks like he might get away. Looks like he might. Yes, Fosco's counter-attacking Puma, counter-attacking from the south. Maxim providing covering fire. And there we go, the Stukasufus unleashing its rockets. And there we go. Thick line of them just charging and clearing out a lot of units there, but the field gun and the Maxim still operational. Cuts they engaged by the Puma. And quickly forced off the field. And on the MD-34 here with Pulsman's hold up this north. And Shang, he can't push too far up there. Under a lot of pressure here, but now Nesh Chukunuk is actually making some forward efforts. Now he's actually making progress. He's no longer being contained in a too small area. 
but still he needs to do some more damage he to begin wiping out some units or want to make any serious progress here company is moving up sadly not a lot of progress and there we go still by the moving awfully close in the unit and there we go coming in fire from an awful lot of sources machine guns up machine guns base defenses you name it and the assault is a rather speed retreat about the same time to collect the field gun there well done by the strong pioneer and the companies they got wiped out utterly by the false gun ideas a tragic fate field gun recruit Chukunuku needs to keep up push up the pace and pressure Fight to make available by the way and so is a valiant assault sort of get a bit more out of his troops if he f wishes Stuka for Sufus almost ready to fire once more. In a quick duel here but between machine guns quickly ends up in the favor of the MU-34 since it was already set up in veteran. And there we go! Nice big fat mine there leaves several Russians face down in the dirt. With the Stukas of oh, the supply half check and then have a free moving up. Setting up here to set up a headquarters there, the Shreya Panzer headquarters. Here. That's only going to make things even more unpleasant. Ready to execute. And Stugas of Fus once also seems ready to fire off a good volley there at the enemy. But it should be getting rather close here for Chukunoga to be able to call in a T-3045, in which case he might be able to sort of deliver some good blows versus his opponent, who will be a bit vulnerable there to a T-3045 since he's only got a Puma and a pair of Pantress Rex. There goes Salt Gunk needs to take that fuel point. Then actually a permanent cause also to sort its hiss. There we go. Maximum timing at the stream plan is down there. The fire here between the folks and the conscripts. And there you go. Very large rocket barrage. And oh, catching the field gun crew and wiping them out. No survivors. Meanwhile, here the facts are getting flanked up and up before the match pin down the other stream pioneer unit. Folks conscripts being pushed away here. And there you go, armor rise for the tank core. But he 3045 has arrived. Ready to punch out some lights. And meanwhile, Chuck Norris might soon have to slightly switch up things here. The strategy so far has been rather focused heavily on containing enemy infantry and probably did not expect a T-345 like this. Puma having a hard time actually hitting the chief at front, and there we go at the same time. Airstrike going in there, a quick straight from the Sturmovic. Doing a bit of damage to the Puma actually, also forced back infantry. That should create a nice opening here for Chukunoko to get back in the field if he pushes forwards quickly. In fact, he's moving up everything here, so it very much seems like he's going to push forwards. So quickly, Comrade, advance! Shot missed, that was bloody well unimpressive. There we go. Sturm Pioneers almost wiped out of the unit, pulls back as well. Now Chuck Norris will have to get a Panther out rather rapidly if he wants a chance of sort of surviving this. Since current force composition will struggle with the T-45. It's not going to be necessarily impossible. It's going to require that then that Chukunuku leaves the T-45 on its own without any support. Which I don't think Chukunuku is silly enough to do so. Of course, I could be proven wrong. Stick with his Puma. Troops encountering the spare Panzer Quad, of course, alerting him to the fact that he's going to be encountering Panthers anytime soon, or Orbital Darden, which Jack Norris could also consider. And looks like he's ready to deal with the Southern MD 34. T-34 moving up point blank here, firing. Very close there with main gun and machine guns. Two swords back here, counter attack up north, working out reasonably well. We could see that MG-34 go down. Oh, looks like he might get away, looks like he might get away. No, it got cleared out. That was one of his more veterans. MG-34, so that's going to hurt. Chuck Norris a bit. 
make a run, everything you've got to fall under 500 square, I've had 10 quarters, and it's 30 centimeter. Flat cannon, a bold move there. Active the units here. And there you go, Stuka's just flying away, trying to probably protect either the victory point or the munitions. No, it was a pound actually trying to get the NDF4 but then escaped, but instead just crashed a house. That could have gone a bit better, but time for the mid game analysis. Current situation is actually got the map sort of neatly split, more or less 50 50. Chuck Norris has a slight advantage in damage, though, he's definitely got the advantage in kills again versus the Russians. Well, that's to be expected. But beyond that, I mean, there's nothing really to sort of be found there. I mean, otherwise, I mean, again, they're holding sort of both 50 50 of the map. Chuck Norris's strategy is beginning to sort of show a few cracks. It was clearly not ready to sort of fight any sort of heavy armor. The T 35 clearly having thrown a wench into his works. And the Puma and the few Pantrax down get a sort of trouble dealing with in particular since Chukunukin's decide to sort of strike from different places, which. Really makes it tricky, sort of, for the fox to sort of stop them, and even for the puma. I mean, it's going to have to then find its own, and that's going to be a bit of a tricky position since again, the T-34 does have decent armor, at least versus the puma, but also a lot more health than the puma. So in that regard, it's going to be quite the struggle there with a the single puma to deal with the T-34-85. I mean, he needs to get a panther as soon as possible. I imagine he's going to be getting that. He could also, meanwhile, consider some orbital guns that more pressure upon Chukunuku's infantry. That would definitely do him quite well if he can sort of murder out a lot of the infantry that Chukunuku has. And it would either be orbital gun or maybe some Falchimia, although, of course, they are slightly more expensive, but of course, no training time. So they could be used to sort of quickly ambush, say, a field gun or something else that might have been a thorn in the side of. Chuck Norris. Looking at Chukunoka, I mean, we're seeing a much larger force. I mean, we've been struggling versus the MD-34, so they managed to get one now. But now with the T-3035, he's sort of getting back into things. He's putting a lot of pressure now upon Chuck Norris. And one option is to keep playing for the T-35s, which is certainly possible. He knows, of course, he'll be facing Panthers, but at the same time, with a certain amount of T-35s, he could probably sort of deal with. Another option would be to take up right now and sort of aim for H-35s. That would also be a decent idea, though it seems like he's playing for something else. He's probably getting aware of it, but he's getting several field guns then, so that way, sort of work with the T-35s. That can also work, though it's definitely going to be a bit trickier due to the field gun being a bit sort of more cumbersome. Got plenty of munitions, a few mines here and there could work nicely out, though of course it's probably going to want to keep munitions from Stormwick attacks here and there, which will certainly also be a good idea. Also considering the command he's gone for, he's got a decent amount of conscripts there, I mean, of course, something, in fact, he's almost got all of them upgraded with something, of course, also the conscript repair kits. I mean, so far he's making good use of his commander, if anything, so that's nice to see comparatively. We're not seeing so much out of Chuck Norris, basically on the MD-34, nothing else. And he might want to consider putting a bit more effort into that, some Falchi Mig or something like that, or maybe after he's gotten the pants out of flak emplacement in the right place could maybe provide him with a bit of extra help. Anyways, over to Chukunuku and back to the fight. And there you go, Puma getting off good shot down the G thirty five, but except it misses actually. Never mind there, Dita. Low to shoot. There you go, barely doing anything with the T-35 due to each large amount of health. But there you go, counterattack versus the Max in the center. Flames about there, hitting from cell sides, that's good. But do you see that the Soviet Air Force called in to cover up? And the decent amount of damage they're done. And immediately crashes down, shattering trees and the road. No casualties though from the crash itself. Would have been a bit unfortunate crashed a bit before that and actually had crashed into the house. I'm sure that would have left Chuck Norris a bit in tears. But there you go, T-35 strikes. Viciously, and we do see a raquette in there for now, realizing he needs something a bit different. To do with that T-35 force goes moving up, they're trying to flank maybe with a panzer attack. And there you go, finding the field gun after the Schwer panzer attack force good job there. And there you go, we actually see the T-35 force taking a bit of damage here. But the maximum fighting cover here for the T-35 allows it to get away, that the Foxglass can't hunt it down. Read the location, Panzer Hook's a bit of a shame there. For Chuck Norris, anyways. Now you're also getting a nice chunk there to the south. Good, good. Force is good, push up here and take the few there. And deny it to the fascists. Prepare it on the T-35. Oh, 
can't skip getting to pest. Not looking to be having a very happy day there. Norris there with his Stukas of Fus. A bit more on the back foot now. His anti tank scheme has left him a bit open, but there you go. He can get a Panther Hell. He could even get a King Tiger if he waits a few more minutes, if anything. He's got all three charts, so a King Tiger could also be a viable choice. But no, he actually goes for the Panther. He actually goes for the Panther. We can see the resource drop there. I mean, considering the kind of force that you can look at at the moment, a Panther could be a very. Oh, the King Tiger could have been a very good way of actually punishing it, but in the end. That's his decision. Panthers can also do well. Nothing like that. Another vicious right there. And there we go. Field gun. Absolutely wrecked. He did not repair it. Also, the T-35 is combat ready. Should get moving and strike back at the Germans. Gun assault there. Another strafe. Going in there. There we go. Keeping them suppressed. And looks like this time around it managed to escape. And another T-35 here being available now for Chukunoko. Tad Morama. Panther has arrived. And a second T-35 mobilizes. Puma once more fails to make much of an impression there. Upon the T-35. Chuck Norris definitely feeling a bit more on the back foot here. Struggling. And there you go. Fultz goes moving up. Straight into the line of over the two T-35s. Even Vepsin G4. They're not going to last long. Versus that kind of farm pump. Well, so can't skip for the sub-scene guns to join in. And there we go. Wiped out a heavy loss right there. To Chuck Norris. Vepsin G4. Fultz goes with a patch strike. That's going to hurt. But now the Panther has arrived, the Panther Kampfwagen 5 is here. Pride of the Fatherland. Now it's the time to hunt down those tanks and the make them learn to fear Germany. Pinterman machine gun up there. And the tank failed to penetrate. Negative for the problem down the one at the same time, going up the centre. Countering a bit up from here with an MG34 Poloined. There you go, Panther nicely positioned here behind the house. Opens up there on the T35 while they occupy with the MG. Good job there, but we do something else firing. There you go, Puma and Panther firing. Field gun firing as well. Panther already with damage engine, half health. Puma gaining metrons, you won. Small news for that one. And another Stukas of Fuss. Getting the field gun again. Definitely going to drop there, clearing them out. A small boom there for Chuck Norris in all of this fighting. And the MU-34 continues to cover that central victory point quite solidly. Tanks need repairs. Also make good pressure up there, that's going to form to maybe draw something out there, which is good. In trying that, Chuck Norris can't focus his defences. Been a bit of a while since we've actually seen advanced warfare news. So far, Chukunuk is making a good shot. And there we go, field gun getting hit there on the Puma. Can it get away? And there we go, no! Oh! The storm of it takes it out, the storm of it gets it! A surprise kill right there, denying Chuck Norris his heavy armoured car there. And it's finally gotten Metrins one. I mean sadly he hadn't really been able to do much in this fight actually. Which is quite unfortunate for him but of course good for Chukunuko. In particular since T-35 is definitely doing a good one job there against the Germans. Negum D-34 push back up north, but most of the fighting is down here south centre. The pressure increases the loss. So this continue to build up. And looks like here, Ch 
Chuck Norris spots an easy chance over the T-35s. At the same time, Ellen pulls up. He could be a bit in a dangerous position here. In particular, if he laid down some mines there, but thankfully, fully not for Chuck Norris here. The enemy is reduced to 200 points. And the Panther ends up falling back in the face of this. Not intent on pushing its luck any further, despite the T-35 being uh, damaged. It is, of course, itself also damaged. Orbs have died and fighting me again now at the same time all of a sudden here. Returning some more elite infantry here for the 5th SS, including from a nearby Fatsumiega regiment. That should definitely put a stop here to Tukunuku's infantry advantage, so the ult begins to punish much harder. A bit surprised though, it took Chuck Norris that long track to get either of those two units, since both are good in their own way. And now we got the Maximum here coming down the gate, but there we go, two machine guns coming out of the Fatsumiega. We need to get out, they won't last long, and there we go, 30-35. With all those consequences, you should just consider reinforcing the t or them while repairing the tanks. No point having them stand about doing nothing. I mean, the faster you can get those tanks back in the fight, particularly the ones close to the two, the better. And there go the Fatsumiega, almost gone. Stugas, who's firing? Panther moves up. A Kaden Mare for Ant. Panther firing away. Things are heating up. Shot and is one more getting a bit reorganized here. Still, I think he should be more troops to repair. I mean, the faster you can get those, all of those 3-2 fellow fights out in the field at the same time, the better. And it looks like we might be seeing another Panther soon. Here from Chuck Norris, he's almost got the resource again. He could team up for a King Tiger again, that could also prove helpful. Enemy forces are capturing our supplies. Our T-34s have been outfitted with 85 mm guns. Forces sneaking about there. Alright. Chuck Norris pushing up the centre, trying to get things back there. He should consider actually flanking up here. There's not really much sort of hindering any movements in particular, since the MDs are going to constantly be coming here. But seems like oh, he managed actually to force back Chukunuka from here. A small victory there. Panther rolling north. Veterans wine, there you go. Second Panther on the way then. Versus three T 35 although again, one is closer to T2, which will give it higher rates of fire, which will make it much more lethal. Can of course also use to take points in the meanwhile while it's still Veterans one. And the rolls up. No, nope. rolls back. Whatever shell Chukunoko doing in the face of this, and over to Chuck Norris once more. His force looking suddenly a bit more scattered in terms of composition. And scavenging there, good, good. That will help. Looks like the tanks are down south. There you go, second Panther Rush, the T-35 hit pulls back. Things are a bit more probing at the moment. Now the player really committing to any big moves. And essentially, Chukunuga building up for a larger armoured force so that way, sort of trying to punch down his opponent, of course. Chuck Norris always sort of senses this, of course, getting more Panthers to try and deal with the T-35. Again, a King Tide could have been a choice, but certainly been much more durable in one sense, in particular, properly covered, would certainly give the T-35s quite a fight. We'll be able to better serve up the damage and also deal the damage. Nego sort going. Oh no, he moved in the Stuka Sufus. Mistake, and there we go. Stuka Sufus wrecked, and he gained victory too for the T-35. Increasing its rate of fire, that's definitely going to hurt. And all here, the Spear Panther quarters down to half health. Panther's moving in, needs to counterattack rapidly, maybe in a complete combat. Blitz, and they go on the straight line. Striking the orbital down here, taking out half the unit. There you go, T-35 coming to fire. Sharp Panther quarters almost down, almost kaput. And there you go, down. Field gun firing into the side of the Panther. There you go, Marnie gave him a pale little defense rate in the front arm of the Panther. 80 millimeters sloped. Missed. Could we see an anti tank going here? No. We could see the option. There we go. Wiped out another heavy infantry loss there for Germany. Chuck Norris definitely now under a much serious assault here. The tanks really 
lending quite the punch into Chukunuga's forces. Obviously, the ability to soak up some serious damage there. And there go Veteran D4 for an MG34. Laying it to reasonably solid. Leave back, suppress, and pin troops there. Multiple going off. Quickly move on to Veteran D5. Yeah, anything. That would be a new bit there. But Chuck Norris seriously start green. 1954 moving up. Not McKenna for radio to fire away. And there you go, Veteran to increasing his rate of fire. But T-55 managed to escape. North Dodge has been rapidly secured. Good job. Let's sneak up some forces to do that, though. I want to do something else. Five teams moving up. Panther setting up here for light. You're up there. That's good. That's good. The T-55 is actually currently exposed. He probably could do it if he decides to push in. But no, he does not commit. In fact, his infantry is largely unsupported by two Panthers. Which is not really good either. With another Stukas who says, right, again, the artillery is a porky. So desperately needs. Negro can't to the fire out of the building. The troops on several sides actually sure the fire trimming is can't focus down the ones right. And there we go, getting up straight in front of an MU 34. The fire trimming is taking heavy casualties there. Negro can't to engaging the force is tearing through them more or less. Molotovs and something and try them. The force is veterans. Oh! Got in Himmel! So he them all with a shield hand gun out of that. Good news for him, less good news there for Chukunoko. Though again, he might want to use some of his comms against the speed of the repairs. I mean, he's a bit too keen on just using a single comms or to repair all of these tanks. I mean, that's going to take time. I mean, he does have the comms against to speed up the repairs. So he might as well use it a bit more than he already is. And there you go. Took a big move down there. Let it go. Chuck Norris is Stuka zu Fuss. It's time for action. Weapon team ready. He's probably feeling a bit more cautious now. With the heavy infantry losses having left him in a slightly crippled state at the moment. And they go fox me the way they could pop down a smoke grenade if necessary. But there you go, one hell of a hit there for the T-35, almost pops out the entire unit, and there you go, four troops right past the conscripts, Panthers moving in and getting the T-35. Ooh, the conscripts could go down here and get for two Panthers and machine guns. Pentamount machine guns just pouring it into them. That's going to hurt Chukunoka, but no, it looks like they managed to pass behind some trees and actually escape the blast there of the Panzerkampfwagen 5. And so I. Panthers moving in now, going to break the base here, but no, field gun already set up. And we immediately see here that he hits the pedal to the metal and pulls out of there. Clearly not feeling that comfortable. There you go! Sneaking up there behind with the anti tank grenade damage. You want the Panthers? Good job, good job. Panthers, or t 5 can now regroup and counter attack. They're all in a good condition there. And there's definitely a chance of he's catching one of the Panthers. See, now he's actually splitting them up due to the trees here. A big mistake. There you go, Country Squad one out, Country Squad one out. Field gun moving up, Panther exposed, getting repaired, but field gun opening up there. He can't repair there for much longer. Country's moving in. T-35 needs to get moving. Quickly, Chukunuku, you've got a golden opportunity to attack. Take it, take it. And there you go, the storm bunny is actually fall back. There you go, still damn saying, there you go. Finally, he sees upon the opportunity here. And turns upon Chuck Norris's tanks. One of them damaged. Though we do see he actually coordinates, but we do see the camera for supporting actually pulled away. Stukas was firing in towards the center. Does not get much damage done there. There you go, rolling forward in one uh, vicious column. And there you go, Panther takes the first hits with penetrates. Second Panther coming in the fire as well. Already down to less than half health. Both Panthers not in a good state. There you go, Veterity 2, the Veterity 2. Field gun firing here. Oh dear, oh dear. More field guns moving up. Blitzkrieg in. Combat Blitz. Veterans one for the other team. Panther. And there you go. Panther got put at the same time, re exposed here to the Veteran 2T35. Another rearmor hit. And there we go. Knocked out as well. He just lost both Panthers there. A rather tragic series of events there. Allowing Chukunoko to charge in and knock them out. 
Use in a simple quick Panzer Fives, but already here he's going to be in the middle of the top. He has very little now. Trying to deal any serious damage to the G35s. He's only got a Panzer and an abandoned Rakettenwerfer. Another quick saving line going in as well. We got the MD34 here, by the way. Bad 25. Let me strike to the base there. Not like Hidden Airfoot, but overall very much in the back foot now. Chukunuku with the upper hand here with three T 3045s. One Vetri 2, another one close to Vetri 2. In fact, he's attacking the base here. Very bold by Chukunuku. Or maybe he's just trying to taunt his opponent, who knows? Make Chuck Norris feel even more exposed than he already is. And there we go, Vetri 2 on the Storm Pioneers, although. Took them quite a long time to actually get there. Tanks being repaired all over the place. Again, you probably could benefit from actually focusing on one at a time. We do note here that Chukunuka's force is a bit upset as well. A lot of the infantry has been lost. He's down to large having support weapons now. I'm still very much exposed when it comes to dealing with the opponent's tanks. He should recover that Kenrev up there as well, if he wants to stand the best chances here. Attempting maybe catching the G35 did not succeed here for the Kenrev, or the Stukas of Fus. In fact, he's only gotten one kill so far. Not doing well with that one. Swift advance there, to regain some fuel. Chukunuga could be able to. No, we can't actually call another T45. I think he's at beyond the pop cap there. Trent is killed by the way on this veteran to 5 MD34. Probably also he's got two bulletins to make it more accurate. Already nice. Well, there you go, flanking him out with the T45. This force is being struck at every point here. Another strafing run. Point sticking down rapidly. Whatever shall. Chuck Norris, he's actually getting a Yak Panzer 4. I think the Yak Panzer here, well, obviously not a good choice. So you're not going to help with that many tanks about. You're simply going to get overwhelmed. The question is, will you be able to make it with the amount of victory points he's got left? That's another one already veteran 2, and this one closing in on veteran 3, and even a higher rate of fire. Back here to Chukunuka. Again. Large difference in force size. Damage wise, his opponent's still a bit ahead, but kills, well, all the largely the same. Map control wise, of course, is much different. So, there you go, we're actually seeing an airborne assault going in here versus the victory point. Quickly calling an entire fighting mega unit. The sector is at risk. The people anticipate our victory. Landing down there. The and securing it, the question will be in time. Points are rapidly ticking down. Fighting is fighting a desperate fight, but simply getting all around here with the conscripts with the submachine guns. And there you go, Manager in neutral, but again, he can't get another one. His force stopped here by an MG34. And there we go, game over. A loss there for the Germans for the Oberkommando West victory for the Soviet Union. A glorious strike by the forces of Stalin. And while Chuck Norris only did well in the beginning, there was certainly a bit of a gap. And again, that was one in the form of tanks, but he probably wasn't expecting advanced warfare and the T-35s so that way being called in, which rather rapidly gave Chukunuga a much stronger advantage, where the Puma rather heavily struck alongside just having two Panzer Shreks on foot. I mean, that rather displayed a bit of a flaw there of a more particular kind on Chuck Norris. And Chukunuga was able to follow up with more T-35s, and he struck. He got Panthers out. 
But at the same time, and we actually did all right, but never pushed them quite fully. It was much more defensive by then. They were really trying to push an advantage, which slowly allowed his opponents to build up. But also wait for an opportunity. And that came with those conscripts there, sneaking up with an anti-tank grenade, leaving them in a poor position. And that allowed Chukunuga to basically overwhelm them and outmaneuver them. And certainly then, one thought might have been, shouldn't he just have gone for a King Tiger? I mean, a King Tiger is a bit more ponderous, but at the same time, a lot more punchy would allow him to get up on the offensive a bit more securely. And if probably supporter could probably clear those T-35s at least force them to be a bit more careful. So that would be some thought in that department. And of course the Panthers were all right. I mean constantly though getting to the Kedden effort might have also been a bit of a waste of fuel incentive to consider more Panthers or something else instead. And certainly the infantry as he sort of continue continuing lacking it did not help him either. I mean there are some good minds and certainly again the sort of early to mid game was on but again at a certain point it basically stagnated, he'd put in too much into sort of supportings and all that and again rather left him very much weak in the anti-tank department and Chukunov of course on the other hand struggled a bit in the beginning, he was apparently very confident in this but at the same time he very much struggled, he could have been maybe overwhelmed had Chuck Norris done a few different things instead, well it's a fat matter again going for a King Tiger then in which case Chukunuka would have been a lot of problems. He might want to modify this. We'll say getting a tank with a tank amount or something like that. At least add an early sort of more mechanized field stuff to at least push back his opponent a bit more and force him to be a bit more cautious and also ensure those MG 44s don't have an easy time fully. So that's just another quick thought there. But oh, he could even have just gone for some mortars and I'm surprised he did not get a single one. But there you go. I hope you enjoyed this match. You have learned something from it. If you did, want to subscribe, tell your friends, share it with everyone. If not, you know, send a replay. And if you do, though, provide a link to the leaderboards. If not, otherwise, you know, feel free to comment and also feel free to donate to the propaganda cast via PayPal, as that helps me keep doing these things. Or if not, you know, if you're using AdBlock, you, know, you can always just shot that off for this these videos. Anyways, this is Imperial Dancing. Cheers, and see you all tomorrow.